It's me again, Hannah. I'm Jalen. I'm Kiran. I'm Rebecca. I'm Rifdi. We must not forget someone special. And who is it going to be? It's none other than... P-E-N-T-O Petto! We're going to have great fun with CD for you! Hmm, I wonder who could be knocking on the door. for you. Here you go, Kiret. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Welcome, Kirit. Hannah, you're a lucky girl. You were born on the same day as your Christian friends celebrate Christmas. And that day is on the 25th of December. My family puts up a Christmas tree and we decorate the whole tree with colourful lights on that day because it is Christmas. Wait a minute! We have a number of festivals celebrated on different days. Like, I celebrate Vesaki and Deepawali, but Rifti celebrates Hari Raya. But Jaylin celebrates Chinese New Year. And all of us celebrate New Year, National Day, Teacher's Day, Children's Day, Father's Day, and Mother's Day too. And don't forget, we have Valentine's Day celebrated on 14th of February. like Pento has a gift for Hana. Wonder, what's this going to be? Once upon a time, there was a lady called Mrs. Lender. She had 12 children. Her first child was called her second child was called The others were
when they grew up, all of them got married. January had 31 children. March had 31 children. May had 31 children. July had 31 children. August had 31 children. October had 31 children. December also had 31 children of her own. But... And... Had 30 children each. February was indeed different. February had only 28 children and every four years she added one more to the list, making it 29 altogether. Mrs. Lander was very happy. Altogether she had 365 grandchildren. Again, every leap year she had one more added to the list, making it 366 grandchildren altogether. Indeed, Mrs. Lander was happy. Ten years later, she was crowned Mrs. Decade for being the best mother. Later, she was crowned Mrs. Century for being the best grandmother for 100 years. The story is really interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is, but it has no title. Why don't we come up with our own title? Santo wants to know the title from Rebecca. The best grandmother of the year. Jaylin's title too. I think my title will be The Story of Mrs. Sentry. And now it's Kirat. Poor Mrs. Lander with too many kids. Finally, it's Rifty. The biggest family on earth. <laughs> Great. My friends try to give their own titles. Pento, what is the title of that interesting story? Story of a calendar is the title from Pento. You know, my name is Rebecca, but they don't really call me Rebecca. Instead of short, they just call me Becky. Becky! Just like Mrs. Clender is Mrs. Lender. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm called Lynn when actually I'm Jalen. Lynn, Becky, and I'm called Carrot, but mm. not Carrot. Carrot, yummy, yummy. Do all of you know that the days of the week? From Sunday to Monday, her short forms too. Our names in short are called nicknames. But when words are made short, they are called abbreviations. This makes things easier for us. I guess. Hannah, at times on a calendar, we find nicknames, don't we? Most of the time we do, but they are not called nicknames. They are called abbreviations. Not only days. Wait, but months too. Just like Mrs. Slender. Abbreviations. Read in short, say in short. Easy to see, nice to say. Short from short from abbreviations. Abbreviations.
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. is all about. I know something about time too. Pento, we need your help. <laughs> hours of daytime and 12 hours of nighttime. Don't forget, we have only 12 noon and 12 midnight. We never say 12 in the afternoon or 12 at night. Anytime before noon, we use AM. Anytime after noon, we use PM. I get it. 7 o'clock in the morning can also be said as 7 AM and 7 o'clock in the evening will be 7 p.m. Am I correct? Yes. Tick a dong a tick, morning with a click. Ding a dong a ding a dong a twelve midnight. Tick a dong a tick, morning with a click. Ding a dong a ding a dong a twelve noon. make an hour and 24 hours make a day. Bento wants us to listen to a story from China. China, China, China. <laughs> so cute. Once upon a time, in the northern province of China, there lived a poor little girl who sold pancakes for a living. One day, she took a basket of pancakes to sell in the town. Pancakes! Come and buy my little pancakes. They are delicious and tasty. 
Only one cent for a piece. Pancakes, pancakes. Try my pancake. Not long after, she sold all her pancakes, and she had one hundred cents. She hid the money under an oily piece of paper in a basket. When she was about to go home, help me! Somebody has stolen my money. Suddenly. She heard some noises coming from afar. Chiang, chiang. Yes, it was Pao Kong coming along the way. Pao Kong was a famous judge. He had a black face and a long beard. His black face was a mark to the people. When they looked at him, they had to face up to the darkness of their own hearts. None could escape his judgment. The little girl knew that she could trust in the wisdom of Pao Kong. She quickly ran and fell down at his feet. Oh, Pao Kong! Somebody has stolen my money. Please help me to get my money back. Please, Pao Kong. Pao Kong then asked everyone who was around, "Did you take the girl's money? Did you?" Everyone said, "No, sir. All of you are invited to attend the trial." But each of you must pay two cents. Everyone agreed. Pao Kong then placed a pot of water in front of him. He ordered everyone to put their coins into the pot of water. Pao Kong looked at the water as the people put in their coins. One by one, they came. Finally, there came a tall and thin man. He too put in two coins. Droop, droop. <laughs> Take him! Shouted Pao Kong. The guards caught the man and found the ninety-eight cents in his bag. Pao Kong then explained to the people, "This little girl put her money under an oily piece of paper." So her money is covered with oil. There was oil on the surface of the water. So here is the thief. It was just a trick to get all of you to attend the trial. Don't do anything bad because you can never fool the wisdom of a wise judge. Wow. That was good. We had a wonderful time listening to our friend. We had great fun, didn't we? Yes, we did. And next, with Panto, it will be Think Tank Time. Think Tank Time. Questions for you. How many days are there in a week? Ten, seven, twelve. Which is the shortest month in a year? February, May, July. February. How many minutes are there in an hour? Thirty, fifty, sixty, sixty. What does Jaylin celebrate? Chinese New Year. What does Rebecca celebrate? Christmas. What does Rifdi celebrate? Hari Raya. Find out the dates of these celebrations from a calendar: New Year, Labor Day, National Day. Time's up. 
time to go now. One more reminder. Soon. But for now, goodbye! <laughs>